Hello everyone, welcome at iSorb Academy. In this video, I'd like to explain you some iSorb web client basics from user's point of view. Let's start with a message. Some of you may ask, where can we add CC and DCC recipients in the dialog? Well, to be honest, they are just co-ops under this icon, which will expand them. If you use these fields regularly, you can enable to always show them in the mail compose options of the web client. As you can see, this account has also several aliases to choose from while replying or composing new message. Brand new feature in the latest iSORP server is also BCC to team chat, which is deeply explained in our other video guide. But now let's move on to the message itself. Under the plus icon right here, you can add additional objects to your message, like pictures, tables, hyperlinks, horizontal rule, Dropbox files, or paste a copied text without its formatting. Under this A icon, you have plenty of possibilities to format your message. There are also undo and redo buttons for any case, as well as spell checking. And here, here we have attachments. Originally, we have been used to add attachments from our computer, but come on, it's for the first century. You can therefore easily select what you'd like to attach, whether a conversation you just finished in your mailbox file from your account or some contact. And of course, there's also a way to use just a drag and drop and put a file to the message immediately. If you are afraid that size of your attachments will be too high for others to receive it, just click on Smart Attach icon right here. This will automatically strip all attachments from your message, save them in your files folder and send them as links. How cool is that? Right next to attachments, you can choose which signature to use or Add some emotion. And now we have added excellent feature in your latest version and you will love it. Delayed sending. You know when you click on a send button and just realize that you forget to add one more attachment. So simply undo this. Oh yeah, I know how many of you will use it, as well as me. But that's not all. How about to send an email tomorrow morning? Some of you may know such feature from Outlook, but Outlook needs to be running all the time to send your message in scheduled time. But you are in IceWorp. Click on Send with Delay, send time which suits you well, and here we go. Message is sent to the server where it waits for its time. You can easily log out and go for vacation. Enjoy. Oh, one more great feature is now in IceWorp. Imagine the situation where you have received email with some document and need to just write a few changes in it and send it back. Previously, we had to save it, open it, edit it, save it again and attach it to your reply. No more. Have you received such email? Good, then just open it. Yeah, right here from the message itself. Make your changes and close it. What is that? Do you wish to send your modified file back? Awesome, sure I wish. Revised, sent, and that's it. None of us really like it, but it's a must have to change password from time to time. Where can we do it here in Web Client? Well, we have to go here to the top right corner of your screen, select your icon, and go to options. And right here on the first screen, there is a change password button to change the password from previous one to the new one. And as you can see, Iceworp now also supports two-factor authorization, which is described in our dedicated video. Let's stay in the options dialog for a while. In the mail tab, we can find autoresponder for cases of our holiday or just out of the office. Configuration is pretty easy. Just turn it on, set a subject and text of your message. Then you can of course also select the time period when autoresponder will be active. If you are looking for some advanced features, you can set not to respond to selected addresses or switch between several modes of operation. And finally, our last topic in this tutorial, signatures. You can set different signatures which will automatically apply to your messages. Once configured, you can then easily switch between them by using that pencil icon I showed you in the mail compose window. 
If you do have several aliases for your account, as I do right here, it's also good to mention that you can pair your signatures to various aliases, to set different signature for each email address you are writing from. And that's it. You went through all messaging basics of ISO Web Client. What awaits us for now can be calendaring basics, or brand new team chat and email collaboration, or would you like to activate this two-step verification I told you about and make your account more secure? Go ahead. And thank you for your attention. See you later. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I would also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to iSorp.